Good evening, welcome back to the Mini Performance Workshop. Um, in the last video you saw me working on Bubble Bee's engine and I think I got to the stage where I was going to put the uh, gearbox back on or something like that. So it's back on um, and I've started putting the rest of the engine together around that. I put the flywheel end casing on, uh, all the clutch assemblies back on it and I've chucked some paint on that flywheel end housing which was a totally different colour, it was um, blasted alloy. Um, I've just been fairly rough and ready with the paint because uh, it ain't no concourse tart and uh, nobody's going to see most of that because it's going to be surrounded and buried under other bits of pipe work and charge cooler systems and everything else so and it, by the time I get all that lot done it's going to be scratched to hell anyway so this is what it looks like that's it chilling on the engine stand there for the moment and as you can see it's got no cylinder head so this afternoon's task was to go around to the uh, workshop unit and take the cylinder head off Austin because that one is going on Bumblebee and then Bumblebee's old cylinder head is going on Austin which is as I've detailed in a previous video many many months ago so on the workshop bench here I've got the 8 port off Austin which needs stripping down and then all the bits that fit Austin's engine go on that 8 port head there and that's the one that had the health check by Phil at Turbo Minis so that one's the big valve one so that's good to go I think that's a late 90s spec big valve one and then that's uh, and then this one is a 90 spec road head with smaller valves it uh, didn't come off without incident um, if you look carefully you can see that one of the rocker pedestal uh, studs has uh, come adrift and what you can see there is the alloy out of the cylinder head so that one there is going to need stripping down and then heli coiling and then the stud putting back in um, I think when I was tightening it I was well remembering back that I was a bit nervous it didn't seem to be going fully tight and then when I um, undid it the whole thing came out so that'll be to do so yeah just be a case of uh, putting the thermostat housing on there the water temperature take off modifying the uh, inlet gaskets to go on there because when they come from mini spares they're too small so they need opening out um, and then put the throttle bodies on give them a bit clean and it'll be ready to go back on that engine uh, that engine needs to come out of the car first and then I'm putting a, a DSN uh, timing cover assembly on it to hopefully get rid of that oil leak uh, and obviously while it's out I'll do a proper resetting of the cam timing and everything because uh, it'd be so much easier to do with the engine out of the car so yeah that'll be this afternoon's or this sorry that'll be this evening's bit of work uh, it'll probably take me uh, an hour or so to get everything sorted but uh, yeah yeah so that'll be it for today i'm just a uh, short and sweet update for you while i work on these engines and then the next bit of footage will probably be me putting bumblebee's engine into the car the only problem with that is though that Austin is in front of Bumblebee and I need to take Austin's engine out first. Yeah, a bit of shifting around to do, but that'll be the next video anyway. Okay, bye for now.